hello guys and in this video i am going to show you how to get the mdk dream ux rom version 3.2 which is working on the j700f fine and very perfectly every aspect means every toggle the wi-fi bluetooth everything is work, working perfect i am giving you a video of version version 3.2 because uh, later, old versions i tried applying multi cscs and indian variants indians ins cscs and world csc but it was not working and regular CSC it was not working so uh, then the uh, LACMA uh, something that uh, developer uh, which is the developer of the MDK ROMs and he uh, posted the 3.2 version I tried it only without any fixes and it worked very perfectly so I am going to show you this in this video <laughs> Okay, so let us boot this uh, phone into the recovery mode. Sorry, we'll do this power off. There is no advanced power menu. So let's power off the device. The device will give an haptic feedback. Then we need to go to the recovery mode here. Here's the recovery mode can go via the power button home button and the volume up key at the same time so we'll uh, swipe to allow modifications go to settings and decrease the brightness what is happening okay this one is better yeah let me zoom in something okay so as you can see this is the install wipe and backup so first i need to back up here and I have not backed up this ROM so if you want uh, so if you are applying any update to the current ROM you can backup only data but if you want to backup the whole ROM and going from some other ROM like other custom ROM other stock ROM also like the advanced dream UI uh, grace UX or some other ROM you need to backup its full okay full uh, full select you to do select storage you need to go to micro sd card and uh, select the name of the backup so today's date is 7 replace the 7 and latest oh sorry latest what i'm clicking okay now this is my name oh. okay i will set the backup and now let's back up so I'm going to back up here after the backup go to back again back I only backed up my data can do and now going to sorry going to wipe advanced wipe that will be cage data in our system and storage system and go to swipe to wipe after the wipe go to install Install the Grace UX MDK ROM and I will reboot after installation. Oh, sorry. It takes some few time. Yeah, the Aroma Package Installer. Click next, click on save format. Yeah, I'll always use that. And now it is installing the package. So this ROM is very much uh, means uh, debloated and some of the apps uh, added like the optical reader and uh, something more the uh, S health which are not used by many users. So you can easily disable that or delete them using the titanium backup. And it has Dream UX uh, only Dream UX and no Grace UX but. It has improved than other uh, phones, giving best battery life, having better RAM performance, and getting more storage. So we'll check it after your first boot. Let this phone boot up. Okay, as you can see, the installer uh, boot image patcher is finishing. So, I think it's done.
yeah this is so means <laughs> waiting all that other roms get fastly installed so yeah installed and it says the notice first reboot may take time or it may boot up a few time so do not get panic and do not interrupt the process and reboot device now let's see the boot logo okay it's the old animation uh, old boot logo only and let's see the animation what do we get yeah it is the first boot loop i think no okay fast and black on white nice but white on black is always good so i will skip and this setup wizard will also be skipped let's meet up at the home screen and the rom has successfully booted up and it with the sim card manager and now uh, it's in some uh, other language only okay let's see uh, english english yeah it's over here so yeah i'll select english united states and let's start let's keep this uh, part and by agreeing the terms anyway if you want to set up now you can set up that will save time i just want to test and show you uh, i have tested just to show you here okay, and name oh sorry i think this is so yeah can add your samsung account and i don't know Last two ROMs from the Dream UX, the Samsung account when it comes, it's had some lag displaying the content. I don't know why. Okay, and now we are on our home screen. So this is looking very awesome with the Dream UX pre-installed system UI, which is Dream UX, and as you can see this uh, Android N style Nougat style uh, S7, which has. And these icons are very beautiful. This is the MDK ROM by Lakmel. Uh, the European name, sorry if I spelled wrong. And he has set the, uh, the uh, DPI to I think 240 uh, or some 283 20 or something. But it is very nice, and we can nicely see these icons. And so there's some add on like the optical reader, you can turn it off. And you can also turn the Samsung member so the bloatware is gone. And yeah, one more thing is this S Health. Okay, all the bloatware can be turned off. And if you want to completely delete this from the device, you may use Titanium Backup and BZ Box. So now this ROM is totally load free and very snappy. It's very with no lag. I have experienced no lag in this. I have using this uh, was. Uh, uh, when it was released I used this for 2 days 2-3 two, days and better battery life RAM management like that advanced dream uh, advanced 7 dream UI it's giving the same performances but uh, some slightly lower than that dream UI because that is the best ROM made and this is some below here so I will show you here okay here is something add on here Okay, so here are many things add on UHK upscaler and everything you can configure. Smart view is not working, this is not a feature. Emergency call this is a data switcher, and again, we get data switch if you want. If you have both SIM cards and both are using data, so you can switch it. And touch sensitivity, which doesn't work, means uh, it enables but not work. Do not disturb mode, you use more. Blue light filter also doesn't work. So ignore that too uh, because these features are I means very hard and difficult to port for these ROMs. So uh, sorry, this phone. So about device, you can see this is the version 3.2. I have not posted videos for uh, lower versions like the version 3 because it was not uh, having it, it was not stable on the J7 and some conflict with there was emergency calls and now you can make calls. You can see your uh, Airtel. And last time I have uh, the uh, means you can see the data increasing, uh, the network increasing, decreasing. We cannot make calls, so that was some CSA feature. 
and now the developer has made so when you go to connections you get the same things sound and vibrations display notifications means uh, you can is the content clearing which can which is experimental i have not worked on that means i not uh, use that so let it be means font you can change you can increase the size or decrease and only one gothic uh, is found you can download the samsung sans serif for free edge screen is there so it's very useful and without any lag it's working perfectly or some other roms uh, which are using the lesser versions uh, cannot have means uh, not a good time uh, so time out is 10 only and screen 7 so same same device maintenance app we yeah we only get that so no ultra data saving mode in this okay so till now no cage data is here and we get a uh, 10.2 gb free so it's better than uh, that some other roms but advanced dream media is the best on the uh, means if you are making a choice for base ROM uh, I'm not uh, means comparing every ROM with it and which is best I'm just saying my opinion please uh, the developers don't kill me please don't spam me so you can optimize all ROMs you see all ROMs are better all the developers work hard to make ROMs so please do not uh, talk any shit about some ROMs and lock screen security oh sorry first let me tell you if the direction lock is working Okay, so when I set some direction, see, continue, it will tell me that settings has four stops, see, okay, when I continue here, so it will tell me settings has four stop and, but I can use it, the direction lock, see, and this will unlock the device, you can also turn it off, by selecting the uh, sorry again swiping this oh sorry only six so you can set now again uh, only while setting the direction lock you have the issues and let's look about the camera the camera is uh, the grace ux only and the dream x icon is not present that takes picture okay if it taking pictures or not and the selfie flash is working or not so it will take pictures i think yeah it's taking pictures and flash is working i think yeah your yeah, flash is also working and filters will find the uh, old one only no new filters or uh, yeah the old filters only uh, one rom has some other filters so that's very cool and we get the rear cam and yeah various good modes only the food mode is not present so it's very good in its aspects now let's test the uh, uh, front camera we adjust the uh, okay so let's test the front camera and the front camera you can see you can take pictures as well as from the selfie flash yeah, pictures are coming very great so there is no issue that the pictures will won't come and we get some filters here filter also working so there is no choice and we get animated gif and yeah again that blackout yeah every rom has that but other uh, other uh, non features means non modes are also here like the white selfie which was not present so everything is working fine in this rom and yeah let's go to get the ram okay how many ram let me clean it first and so 234 mb is cleared i think 4 420 oh 476 that's great performance nearby to 500 and those around which give better by RAM means nearby to 500, 490, 480 are uh, the best to use and the advanced review is giving a 530 MB which is well best for this ROM so the stock also offers me like this uh, 500 and uh, other MB it just offers me some amount of 400, 300 MB RAM while I am just using the application clearing so I think this is the one of the best 
ROMs made by so thanks to the developer for making such a good ROM it's so swift as you can see fast unlocking so the battery uh, means uh, battery battery usage is very awesome you can see a uh, uh, like uh, 26 hours usage on a uh, gaming performance and balance also gives 27 to 28 hours so you can use this full day and can enjoy more two three hours extra so ram performance is also well you can play hard games also and coming to the uh, screen on time it says like uh, eight hours uh, sorry six seven hours or five hours sometimes if you are playing games so this was the review of the uh, Grace UI, uh, Dream UI MDK ROM version 3.2 and if there are more major updates I will be uh, testing those ROM and uploading videos for you so yeah please subscribe and press the bell icon I need subscribers so and thank you every subscriber and every viewer of the video that uh, my one video got 1000 plus views so this is the first month and I enjoyed the 1000 views okay and thank you, keep supporting me like